rather you wanted to ask the user for some input make it feel like you are you are working on some software already okay so the topic here is asking for user inputs the input statement input command let's call it input command okay now in python there is an input command in which you can specify a, a text it will appear like a pop up hey enter something enter your name okay and i can enter divyanshu here okay and you can see the output here is divyanshu what's happening here this is the uh, pop up the dialog box message that comes up it expects an input this is that input and that input is returned as the output of this entire statement and you can store this this uh, output inside a variable and i can use that my variable equals to this thing so again i will do this it will not print anything this time why because now i have stored that inside a variable just that fruit into a polybag example initially we did not have a polybag that's why the fruit was thrown on the ground but now we have polybag on the left hand side a bucket on the left hand side so the fruit now directly goes into the bucket as soon as as i press enter now i can look at my variable it is divyanshu okay but there is a catch here there is a catch let me show you what that catch is okay what if i wanted to expect a number input my number i will ask for the input enter your roll number for example okay my roll number and that is an a number okay it's 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 not a alpha numeric roll number like most universities it's your school roll number okay so i can be like hey my roll number is 126 and i press enter and as soon as i print my number you can see there is still quotation marks here so the catch here is by default an input statement always takes in strings this is a string data type if i want to check the type of it my number this is a string and what we want in fact is not a string but we want a integer or a floating point number so you have to learn something called a type cast all this will be very useful when we look at one integrated problem okay these are all the very important basics of python so type cast basically what we have to do is we have to take in some input and convert it to your particular desired data type for example i can use the same number for example if i have uh, like this thing 126 and i want to convert it to a float i can use the float function and pass in this string 126 and you can see it becomes 126.0 i can do the same thing i can convert 126 to an integer and you can see the point 0 is eliminated because now it is an integer so this is the entire theory of uh, of uh, type casting whatever you want to change you pass that into inside the inside the parenthesis and the desired data type you pass that outside as a function okay so let's apply that type casting here as well what i will do is because i know whatever comes in here that will be in the format of a string i can pass this entire thing inside the float or uh, let's say integer okay let me provide it nice formatting now if i printed hey enter your roll number 126 and you can see my number 126 now the quotation marks are removed let's see the difference you can see here 126 the same input i provided without any type casting by default it was a string it was a character kind of combination of characters because python is showing quotation marks around it which means it is a string but now my number is an integer because i have explicitly converted it to an integer 
I can do the type casting. I can check the type. OK, I can check the type now. The type is an integer. All right, so now let's repeat the same Darcy's law example using this. Input kind of thing. OK, let's repeat that. Let me paste it here. OK, so you can see I've only repeated the uh, permeability. I'm, I'm assuming that only permeability will be varying. As a part of my software, I don't want to change anything else. I want everything else to be constant. So I only want user inputs for permeability and then return the output. So what I will do is I will run this command. Let's say my permeability is let's say 100 milli Darcy's. The flow rate is some 10 thousands. Uh, again, ignore the unit systems here. That's not our aim. If I increase my permeability, let's say 1000 milli Darcy's, the flow rate again is like one more zero is here. I keep on, re I reduce my permeability. You can see the zero reduces. Okay. So that's all about input statements. Okay. Now, let's look at what if you wanted to print a statement like right now, this Q is printed like without any formatted output kind of thing. Who knows what Q is? If your manager is reading this code, can he know or she know that this is a this is a flow rate? Of course not. You have you you want to print some uh, some kind of message which will have the variable name as well. For example, I want to print something like this. The flow rate is is Q. Now, ideally, we want to automate things. So as Q changes, we want the print statement to reflect that change as well. Right now, either you can do this, but this interprets Q as a letter, as a character, not as a variable with some value, because that's how print statements work. Or you could have done this thousand. But neither of them are the actual good practice. Yes, they are not providing you an error, but the problem is it's not automated, right? Because every time some new flow rate is calculated, you want that to be reflected in in this uh, in in this place. How to do the do that in uh, Python? You can use something called an F string. F string. It is called formatted string. OK. Just pay attention what I'm doing here. OK, what I will do is I will use the same statement here. I'll provide F ahead of it. OK, a tiny little F ahead of it. And wherever I want to print the variable, I will use curly braces and provide the variable name. OK, now you can see the flow rate is in place of this. Its value is printed. In place of this its value is printed and you could have guessed because the color change right so there is some change in interpretation already so adding just this f does some wonders now i'll tell you what if i did not add this f i remove this f you can see it's assumed to be a raw string nothing else but as soon as you provide an f python starts searching where the the variable names are given in the string and it accordingly, you know, changes the entire thing. Now let's repeat this entire problem and use this uh, F string. Okay. And if I run it again, you can see as I enter 10 milli Darcy's, the messages, the flow rate is 1000 units. As I enter 150 milli Darcy's, you can see the flow rate has changed. So every time you enter something else, the message accordingly automatically changes. That was not happening here. So that's the benefit of using F strings. Whenever you want to provide a print statement that automatically updates with the variable names, always use F strings. Very important concept. Okay. Now 